this video where I will teach you the latest chat GPT plugin, the code interpreter that allows you analyze and visualize data in minutes. Now I am a data analyst. If I wanted to analyze this um, world GDP data that has data for all of the countries of the world from 1961 to uh, about 2021. It will take me a great deal of data cleaning, uh, uh, metrics calculation, and several visuals before I could make meaning of this data. But all of that work has now been taken away from me by the new chat GPT code interpreter. Now, I want to show you in this video how to use the new chat GPT code interpreter to analyze large data sets like the one I have here. So let's go to the chat GPT interface and get to learn how to use the code interpreter on the chat gpt interface i first need to tell you that you can only use the code interpreter on gpt4 you can only use the code interpreter on G gpt4 so first you go to setting and in setting you go to better futures and um, you turn on the code interpreter when you're done you return back to the interface and um, somewhere here you hover around here this comes up you go to the code interpreter and you stick it on when you're correct a plus sign would come up on your prompt bar that plus sign is where you upload the file in any format holding your data so I want to go and upload that my large um, GDP data so I click on I go into my device and look for the GDP uh, data there you go the world GDP data is a very large data it came in a zip file so I click on it and I open the data. I wait for the data to upload. In minutes, that data would upload. Once it uploads, it allows me to begin to chat with the data. I could ask um, the data, I could communicate with the data on this platform. I could begin with, tell me what this data is about. I could begin with that and chat gpt in its um, powerful ability will describe that data for me you begin with trying to open the data to uncover uh, the different data points so it tells me the data appears to be from the world bank um, world development indicators it shows the annual um, growth rate of gdp at market prices based on constant local currency and it goes on and on to explain everything about that data and so it tells me that let's clean up the data if you want that if you want to clean the data it's okay go ahead go ahead and um, clean this data that is to say that um, the code interpreter can clean data for you so there it goes it's working it's working around the data to clean me up that data it's working i think it's done with working that's clean up the data all the nail it, it has removed it all the um, no values it has completely pulled it out it's still working on the data it's renaming the files you say no this is what i have done with the data now this is if you open the data now this is how that data um, is now looking. The beautiful part is you can see what it's doing with the data. You can actually go here and show working. 
and get to see the code is this is how your data now looks this is what he has it has been able to do with your data and so let's go now let's say please let me know if there's specifics you would like to analyze or visualize with this data so i'll say okay create create um visuals for the GDP in Africa, in African or African regions, any of those would work. So there you go, it will help me create visuals, it will separate all of the countries in Africa. From the data, it seems there are several regions related to Africa. Let's list these regions first. So our friend will go out there and list up first all the um, regions in Africa. Now note it it would it has a plant has been able to tell all the different regions in Africa. Now it's gonna ask me which specific regions are you interested in? I thought okay, I I am interested in all the regions i am interested in all the regions and i go there chat gpt would go out there and analyze the gdp growth rate from 1960 to 2021 for all the regions in africa the beautiful thing is it allows you um see the code of what he is working with Meaning that if you know Python, because of course this is built in Python, so if you know Python, once you see the code, you can recreate this on your own. There you go, these are visuals. Our friend ChatGPT is already creating beautiful visuals of all um, the regions in Africa. You can now tell it, okay, create for specific regions create for specific regions e.g. western western and southern africa okay about another question like i mentioned before the code yeah, it has the, the visual it has here is the annual GDP growth for all African African regions from 1960 to 2021. Now I want it to create for specific um, specific regions annual growth for Eastern and Southern and Western Africa. I could ask it, can you make these bar charts? Can you make these bar charts? It's gonna work to create bar charts of um, the visuals. There you go, I'm waiting for it to create me bar charts. bar charts it has created okay now I'll tell it I am interested in the GDP growth rate of of Nigeria In the last 10 years can you visualize this visualize this in a bar chart this is still working again you could see the Python code it is creating this with 
just go to the show walking and click on it you can sh click and hide the walking to show the walking you could hide the walking this is a python code it has created that bar chart with i want to hide it and go ahead to what it is yeah this 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 is the annual gdp growth percentage for nigeria in the last 10 years here you go here you go it's asking me is there something else you want to do now the beautiful thing is it interprets um you tells you that nigeria gdp growth rate has experienced um, considerable fluctuation of the last decade a significant co um, contraction in GDP growth around 2016 likely due to economic downturns the year 2020 also shows a significant contraction which could be attributed to the global economic um, impact of COVID-19 now that is as beautiful as that it does it doesn't only plot the graph and show you the visual it interprets the visual now let me ask it one last question um using this data predicts i'm already going into predictive data analytics predict the gdp growth rates in the next 10 years The code interpreter does not only do diagnostic data analysis, it could do a predictive data analysis. Just know how to prompt it and it could turn around and turn over everything you know about Python coding, data analysis, data analytics and data sciences. So it's going to run me a code, a prediction code that allows me to predict the GDP growth rate um, in Nigeria in the next 10 years. It's going to also plot it out in a graph. Now, should there be any problem with the data, the code interpreter would fix that problem, would work around it and ensure that it gets to the end of plotting or creating me um the visual that i want or i i, I had prompted it for it's it keeps telling me oh it's not possible it apologizes and it's still working and i could keep asking and asking and asking until i have exhausted all the apps on this data now, if I don't, if it is taking too long to do that, I could simply stop it. I could simply stop my prompt and tell it, okay, create any other visual you think is important for Nigeria. Any other visual things for that for Nigeria and calculate calculate important matrices. Calculate important matrices. And there you go. A friend is going to go ahead to pull up any other visual he thinks it is important. Give it to this point to show you that. It also has some limit. It says you have reached the current usage um, capacity for chat GPT-4. You can continue with a default model now or try after 5 or uh, say 6 p.m. So it has a um, capacity of usage per day. So if you don't, if, don't, if you're not yet using the, G, uh, the chat GPT code interpreter, please go use it. Go learn how to use it now. It has the ability to visualize any data, analyze any data, and allows you simply to load any data from Excel, from um, uh, your PDF document, from a Word document. You could just load your data into um, ChatGPT and begin to talk with the data and begin to communicate with the data and it will create you beautiful beautiful uh, visuals just like this don't forget to follow me on youtube 
and on LinkedIn.